I'm Jane Howard. I'm Director of Arts for Health, Cornwall and Isles of Scilly. We're a charity that is dedicated to improving health and well-being through the arts and creativity. Our work is very much about participation, finding opportunities for people to get involved in doing something creative because we know that on a very simple level this makes them feel better. There's increasing evidence that uh, participating in particular creative activities has benefits for people with particular conditions. For example, um, people who are suffering from mental health problems such as depression or anxiety, um, we can see a reduction in their medication and in their visits to doctors if they're getting involved in a creative group. We work with all art forms, so we're not just working with visual arts, but we also work with musicians and dancers, writers, and we work with a wide range of target groups and individuals. Whilst we respond to uh, the priorities of organisations such as the Primary Care Trust or the local authority, we're also keen to find ways in which we can directly address gaps in, in service provision and target particularly vulnerable or hard to reach groups. So for example, we've worked now for a number of years with St Petrock Society in Cornwall, um, which provides support for homeless people. Similarly, in our work with older people, we identified right from the beginning that there was a real gap in services for people with dementia. My name is Stephanie Jackson and I'm a GP at Falmouth Health Centre. We were lucky enough to have an artist in residence at the surgery for about a year. As a GP, I do refer people to Arts for Health. Um, and also to other community organisations but a lot of GPs aren't aware of what's out there in the community and the great thing about Arts for Health is that they really market themselves to work in uh, alongside the PCT uh, and so people know what's going on and, and where they can access it. I'm Lizzie and I heard about Arts for Health um, through going to my doctor. My circumstances are that I have a disabled child, four teenagers, very small house and um, yeah, my hours are, I don't get any time basically. I was not sleeping very well and um, getting anxiety attacks. I had a session of counselling and then my doctor suggested that I came to Arts for Health. I'm working on a cracked pot and I've mosaiced it to make it into something better. It takes me away from my circumstances. I've met people I wouldn't have met. I've done things I wouldn't have done. You know, you sit here and you're doing things and it gives you time to think. Whilst most of our work is about participation, we're also keen to look at ways in which the arts can enhance the environments in which health and social care is delivered. And that could be something as simple as uh, improving a doctor's surgery waiting room to the big project that we're involved in at the moment, a multi-million pound new build for a primary care centre, where we've been involved in integrating arts into the building to provide a more welcoming and therapeutic environment. A winning an impact award has been fantastic for us. I think what's also important is that it places the arts and health agenda very much on a national stage and really gives recognition to the importance of linking the arts with health and well-being. Mm -hmm.